Recording has started. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this new session. So what we're going to do today is uh, an improvement that we introduced for the user experience when uh, um, some stacks uh, basically hit the cache. And uh, Frida already presented uh, uh, the authenticated, the unauthenticated uh, workflow. And this is uh, some work that is based on that uh, initial changes. And as you can see, uh, it, there were some prerequisites to have that uh, workflow. And now that we can differentiate between authenticated and authenticated, there are some parameters which do not uh, form the uh, cache document ID. And this will basically allow um, some users that uh, do not require the token and, and some parameters to hit uh, basically similar stack. So if uh, me as a user and another user are requesting for the same uh, stack, now we are going to hit uh, the same, uh, um, let's say, document ID if we have some uh, uh, similar packages. And uh, what we did basically was uh, uh, so modifying the workflow to be authenticated and unauthenticated, removing uh, some of the parameters to hit the cache for specific integration of uh, advisor. And uh, uh, we introduced a monitoring. So to see actually that uh, this uh, new feature is going to improve the user experience. So we monitor the cache hits for authenticated and unauthenticated requests, both for advisor workflow and for provenance check workflow. And um, so the metrics that we introduced is, are described basically here and are also available on our Grafana dashboard. But basically what we're going to do is basically cache it uh, for advisor authenticated and unauthenticated and also for uh, provenance checker. And uh, if you want to like see these metrics uh, changing, let's just go uh, to this worker and let's try to schedule some, let's say similar request for the, for the same stack, which is uh, the Daikiri stack in this case. So right now, this one should fail because we introduced the authentication. So some parameters cannot be actually added. Maybe we should uh, adjust or I don't know. But uh, some parameters cannot be run unless you use the token now because there is an authenticated one. So if I remove these parameters, which are not, uh, uh, which do not require authentication, then we should be able to run advisor successfully. So that's basically the case where no authentication is required. So if I want to simulate maybe more hits, we should see these metrics basically going up. And uh, yes, so some of them, let's see if it can go upper. Yes, so as you see, I'm basically hitting the same stack. And this means that uh, um, I mean, this is simulating similar users that are basically asking for the same uh, um, stack. And in this way, we can basically simulate, uh, sorry, we can monitor that the cache hits are being uh, um, hit. And therefore, we can see that actually many users are uh, getting, let's say, a better experience because in that case, once the stack is uh, produced for one user, then the other can receive uh, the same answer basically in a few seconds. And this is also monitored here. Um, not sure why it's not uh, uh, currently updated because it should uh, follow um, the metrics for the same pod. But uh, yeah, I mean, you got the idea. You can see it here that they are changing. And that's it, I think. Any questions? No. Um... Maybe just um, with regards to metrics, um, we should be, no, should we be able to see a reduction of response time in some of the service level objectives? Um, so, good question. Yes, in theory, yes, because as we see, I mean, if the users are hitting the same, uh, we are receiving yeah. the results faster, but uh, in any case, they are not. Uh, currently, we are monitoring the um, 
advisor workflow time and the I specific think from step. The integration test, every six hours we can see that, right? But that's not that might might get blurred in all the noise that we have anyways. Is, oh, okay. to, is it something to add to advisory portal? Because in that case, it will show uh, across user API uh, deployments plus the cache bit. Mm, that might be a good idea to to add some cache statistics uh, section to the advisory report. So, yeah. Yes, that's uh, yeah. Actually, that's in plan to do. So we can add it for sure. Thanks. Nice. Any other question? Thanks, Francesco. Thank you.